This is a video of um, um, all my, an airsoft update of all the stuff I got over the summer. Um, what should I start off with? I'll start off with my shim shimog. There, I said it right. Um, it's OD green and black. It's like the things the Taliban wear. Or you can wear it like the U.S. Army, or, yeah, U.S. Army does. And I'll do a video on how to tie those if y'all want me to. And then I also got a Echo One USA dead rag or bandana, whatever you want to use it for. Um, I got a skull frog sound amplifier. It also has a flaming pig shooting out flames in the back, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, a stubby grip for my Echo One Troy M4. A Magpul PTS. What is that? Trigger. Magpul PTS MOE trigger guard for my M4, which I have that on there currently. The old one's in there. And then a Magpul PTS uh, um, why can't I think of it? MOE stock. Very, very nice. It has Magpul stuff all over it. It's very nice. And this came in yesterday, but I did get the, it was brand new on eBay, it was in Hong Kong or something, but it did have free shipping. It was like $25, and it did come with the extended butt pad thing, which I saw on eBay for like 30, 25 I think, yeah, $25, but it came with that, which I have on it right now, or you can take it off and put it on there, it has like little grips on it, and you do need an Allen wrench to take that off, just saying. I'll do a review on I'm going to go ahead and say this. I'll do a review on most of the stuff in this video, which I might have on some of it already, but, um, um, but it's just an update. Um, I got this, what is it, Fab Defense MWG Magwell Grip. Uh, it's for, like, you put it, uh, for those of you who don't know, you put it, like, right here, and it, it comes off in half, and you put it over there. But, it's for M4s, AEG M4s, and it does not fit my Echo 1 Troy, which I find really weird, because P-Mags do also do not fit the Echo 1 Troy, which made me a little mad, because I ordered those and just gave them to my brother for his, uh, scar. Um, I got this As Seen on Evike TV patch. Um, my brother did get a, a evike.com box of super awesomeness for like the 40k Facebook fan edition or whatever and um, he got that and I bought that patch off of him for five dollars I got a smoke a firework smoke grenade it's pull pin you just pull this pin right here that's my last one left um, I used some of them in my other videos and check out my channel for that you like uh, box of awesomeness video too um, I got some magwells. I got OD green for my high cap mags, and I have one on the mag right now, and then one extra because I don't have two mags. Cause my I traded my friend a um, battery for a high cap, and he hasn't given me my high cap yet because I forgot to get it before I left Arkansas and came back to Georgia. And then I got black ones on my um, mid caps, and I got five of those. Um, I got one of those airsoft rubber knives that can be a bayonet too, and it also hooks on your uh, belt or whatever, and it's a clippy thingy. It came with the sheath and stuff, see it's rubber, just for those of you who think I was lying. Um, and then it has bayonet mounts right there and right there, and then I'm not sure what that's for. And then it velcros in here to stay in here. Pretty cool. Um, I got a Z Tactical Bowman Elite 2 headset with a push to talk. When I did get that push to talk, I thought it'd be smaller than it actually is. That's why I got it. Plus, it was the cheapest one. So, but I had to buy that separately. And then there's the headset, movable arm and everything it was supposed to have. I wear it under my helmet. And. Um, this will do my dump pouch. I got this Phantom Gear Woodland Camo dump pouch off Evike. It was like, I think it was like 15 to 20 dollars. But it like folds out like that, and then it can go across Velcro like that if you want it to stay like that. 
Or you can just put the GoPro on the inside, like that. Or you can roll it up, like this, and Velcro it. And then it has Molly stuff on the back to attach onto the vest or something. Which, I have it on my vest, but I just took it off for the sake of this video. Um, and then these just did come in yesterday too. It's my Revision OD Green Goggles with dust cover. And I will we'll do a review on this too. They're freaking awesome. I love them. Um, and they come with this. It has clear, which are in it right now, black, and yellow lenses. And it has like an instruction manual and stuff. And it had a tag on it where it said it could um, withstand a 10-gauge uh, shotgun shell, I think is what it said. But, yeah, like I said, I'll do a review of it. And then I got my Mitch 2001, or M-I-C-H, whatever you call it, helmet with a, woodland camo, with a woodland camo helmet cover. This one is OD green, see? ABS plastic, not the real stuff that they use in helmets. That was like 20 to 30 dollars. And then I got a helmet cover which was like 13 dollars I think. And the helmet, the helmet cover was separate, but the helmet did come with two arc rails and a night vision goggle mount. But I'm not sure if you could actually put night vision goggle, night vision goggles mounted onto that with a rhino arm or not, because it looks fake. It looks like you can. And then it did come with two strips of small rectangular velcro and then one big square velcro which I don't have on it right now um, and then I did get um, one Picatinny rail mount for it for the arc rails and it did come with this little weird thing I have no clue what it is if so will somebody please tell me in the comments thanks and then last but not least I have a video on this too but it's my CYMA Tommy Gun Chicago Typewriter Thompson Model 1928, whatever you want to call it. Fake wood, full metal. I'm not going to go too deep into it because I do have an unboxing on that. And then I got it in a trade for my Echo One AKM or AK47. I know I got a lot of hate on that video on about calling it an AK47, but it's an AKM. And I traded it because it had like holes and stuff in the stock. Wish I had a video of it, but I don't. Uh, but I have like unboxings and reviews and shooting tests on that, so check it out on my channel. And then it does come with a drum mag, an 8.4 volt battery, um, which I don't have with me. And then the dude bought this separate a stick mag for it. They go in like the military versions of them. He bought that separate, and I got that. Um, and, oh yeah, the uh, pistol grip. I mean, not pistol grip, the trigger guard. Sorry. Um, if y'all can see that, that's the magpul trigger guard right there. Uh, the other one was metal, and it was, like, straight. This, the magpul one is Palmer, I think is what it is, or ABS. It's not metal, though. And it, like, kind of arcs up. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. And it has the magpul symbol on it. And, uh, I got my Whisper 45 APC suppressor on there, and my Monster sticker, my Contour mount. That was an Echo and Troy MRFC. Uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Go, go to my channel and check out the rest of my videos. But, thanks for watching. You don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See ya.